Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There is an intriguing article on the New York Times about bone marrow transplants and how it changes the blood and it brings up a lot of questions that I have never seen before. Now they have found that the bone marrow transplant changes the DNA in people, changes their blood, and it shows up in some really unexpected places such as sperm uh, when they do swabs inside the you know the cheeks for crime testing and even DNA testing to prove paternity of children so what if a person gets a bone marrow transplant from a person who commits a crime you better hope you have a pretty darn good alibi that you didn't commit it there was a case of two brothers one had received a bone marrow transplant from his brother and he almost went to jail because of the crime that his brother committed this Twitter post shows this man who had leukemia they call it weak blood so he had a bone marrow transplant and yeah his blood started producing the new DNA from his bone transplant donor they claim that the personality of the person don't change but his sperm changed everything changed except for the hair that was on his chest this man basically became a chimera, um, a person who has two separate DNAs from two different people. Tens of thousands of people every year get bone marrow transplants. And the article talks about how it's unlikely they become a victim or a criminal in some type of investigation. Doctors and scientists, I thought that was kind of funny that they said that the brain the personality of the person should the key word should remain the same i guess that means they're not quite sure i mean we've heard stories about people all of a sudden getting organ transplants um, having weird cravings and strange memories they say it doesn't matter if you got a bone marrow transplant from a man or a woman but if it changed even his sperm which now his offspring, if he ever had any, but he wouldn't because he had a vasectomy, would now have the DNA of the other person that donated the marrow to him. He got DNA from a man, but let's say he got it from a woman. Would all of a sudden he have uh, urges, attractions um, to the opposite sex a woman would have? Would he all of a sudden have attractions to a man? There was even a case where a woman almost lost custody of her children. I'm not sure of all the details, but because of the DNA testing. What if they get DNA, uh, a bone marrow transplant from someone such as, you know, a high profile serial killer like Jack the Ripper. There has even been a case of identifying victims. Uh, they didn't know who the man was that died. They did a DNA testing and the blood came back as a woman. It turned out that the victim had gotten a bone marrow transplant from his daughter. Yeah, so if you wanna jump on over to the New York Times article and read it, it's like, whoa. Uh, read it if you want. What are your comments about this? What are your thoughts? Um, please put them down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you, bye.